Notion has recently released a new plan that is business and renamed the formerly called team plan to plus. And this has created four plan tiers in Notion that might have users have a bit of confusion in terms of how these plans work. And in particular, what's the difference between the plus plan and the business plan in Notion in 2023. So in this video, we're going to address those key differences, focusing in particular on the differences between the plus plan, formerly called team, and the business plan that is in between the plus and the enterprise plan. So let's start from the free plan and the free plan has limitations if you invite people. So when you have the free plan, you also have the option to create team spaces and to invite people to your workspace. And when you invite people as members, as they say here, blocks become limited and a block in Notion is whatever you create on a page. So, so every piece of content in Notion is a block. Notion is a block based software. That is whatever you create is a block. For example, a page in a database is a block. A to-do list is a block. A page in line on a page is a block. A text is a block. So whatever has these six dots here is called a block in Notion. And when you have the free plan and you invite another person, you have a limited amount of blocks because that becomes then a team plan, formerly known as a team plan free trial. And so essentially it becomes a sort of plus plan free trial. Now let's focus on the difference between the plus plan and the business plan in Notion. The plus plan is the first tier for team wide collaboration. So in here, you will have unlimited blocks for teams. So no matter how many people you invite members or guests, you will have unlimited blocks to use in your workspace. Next up, you have unlimited file uploads, whereas your file uploads capacity is limited to up to five megabytes per file in your free plan. But in the plus plan, you do not have any limitation in terms of the size of each file in your Notion workspace. In addition to that, you will have a 30 day page history in the plus plan. And the page history is accessible from the clock icon at the top right corner. Here you can see all the updates if you like, but if you want to restore previous versions of a page, then you can go to the three dots and then you can select page history. When you do that, you will see all your versions that you have for as long as you can access the history. So that depends on your plan. On the plus plan, you will have a 30 day history log. On the business plan, you will have a 90 day history log. In addition to the history, you also can invite up to 100 guests to your Notion workspace when you are on the plus plan. And there is a fundamental difference between guests and members of a Notion workspace. Guests are invited on specific pages and you can invite guests by clicking on the share button on any page or database that you want to invite them to. And then here you can invite people via email and decide their access level. And when you do so, that is a guest that you invited to your Notion workspace. And guests will have access to the parent page that you invite them to, as well as to all the sub pages within that page. For example, if I invite a guest to this page called Colossus Workouts Manager, they will also have access to all the sub pages in here. And if I want to say restrict access to the guest to training objectives, that is a sub page within Colossus, then I can go here on the share menu and I can restrict access to that guest. And that means that I'm granularly restricting access to a sub page so that if I'm the guest here, I will only see the master page and all the pages I have access to besides the ones restricted. For example, if I was a guest here, I would not see the objectives database if I was restricted to see that view. On the other hand, members are paid users in your Notion account. So guests are free, but members are added from the settings and members tab. And right here is where you can invite members by adding them via email. And these people are going to be paid. And the next tier here is the business plan. And the business plan is a hybrid between the plus plan and the enterprise plan, with the enterprise plan being the most feature rich Notion plan where you have everything that you can imagine in Notion. And the business plan is a bit of a trade-off between the plus plan with its limitations, such as 100 guests limit, and the enterprise plan that also focuses a lot on privacy issues or features, as well as auditing features for bigger companies. So when it comes to the business plan, you will have SSO, that is managing employee access at scale with SSO, a single sign-on process. You also have private team spaces. So private team spaces are like this one, for example, here in this Notion workspace that I have, you can see there is a lock icon here on this team space that is called templates. And that's because this team space is set to private. That is only I and the people added to this team space will have access to this team space. No one else can see the existence of this team space. And this is different from an open team space or a closed team space because an open team space is accessible by anyone in the company in your Notion workspace, whereas a closed team space is only accessible by invite, but everyone can see that that team space exists in your workspace. And you can find out more about team spaces in detail in the video linked in the description of this video. In the business plan, you also get bulk PDF export. So when you have a Notion workspace, you can also export 
your entire workspace if you go to settings and down here you have export content where you can export all the workspace content and you can also choose what format you want it in and this is where you can find that you can export and you can have the data in your own computer or server advanced page analytics is coming soon and that's a feature that is also already in the free plan although in the free plan you have basic page analytics whereas in the business plan you will have more advanced page analytics and we don't know yet what that exactly means because this feature is not out yet. You have a 90 day page history in your business plan. And that is here. When you go to the page history menu, you can see a log up to 90 days. And finally, you can invite 250 guests as opposed to only 100 guests in the plus plan. So you can invite more free users where you can manage granularly their access levels. And that is it for the main differences between the plus plan and the business plan in Notion. We started from the free plan, looking at what are some basic features available in the free plan and some limitations. That is, if you invite another person as a member, then you start essentially what is a free trial of a plus plan with limited blocks. Now we went through, then we went through the plus plan and looked at what are the key features here that differentiate the plus plan from the free plan. And we analyzed each of them going into Notion and looking at where they are located in the interface. And finally, we went to the business plan and looked at what makes the business plan different from the plus plan. And these are the key features. And here as well, we went to the Notion workspace and analyzed where these are located and how to quickly use them. You can find more useful links in the description of this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to share them down below in the comments. For now, thank you for watching and see you soon.